Hi everyone, by Popular Demand, I'm finally making a boozy video. I've received some great feedback from you guys on this pattern and I have enjoyed seeing all your versions of this boozy. If you don't already know, my name is June and I'm the pattern maker at C Studio. I saw this top selling online for $400 and I thought I could make one myself that looks just as good. I think this top is so cute and pair well with so many buttons. I made several versions of this top as samples for you guys. This one is the original pattern in black. Here is my pattern in the powder blue with some easy modification. On this pussy, I removed the levels from the bun and with tablets. You can also try being creative with my pattern and use this as a starting point for different adjustments. On this one, I added button down the center, a curved waistline, and used spaghetti straps. Here are all the material that we need. Today, I'm going to use cotton canvas for my brussier top. I'm going to use this for the main fabric and the lining fabric. Heavy or medium weight fabrics with little to no stitch are recommended for this pattern. We are going to need underwire and boning. Also, we will need ribbon. I'm going to use four yard and cut it into four pieces to make the strap. If you want, you can also use spaghetti straps or go strapless. For the zipper, I'm going to use a 9 inch zipper for XS size. XS and S size will use 9 inches, but bigger size will use a 10 inch zipper. And lastly, here is my pattern that we'll be using. You can find it on my Etsy shop. I will leave a link below in the description. This is the pattern. There is no contents on the edges of the paper. So you will need to cut the edges of the pattern and tape them together. Iron out the fabric before you cut it so that the cutting is accurate. The only piece you need to cut on the bias is scrunch part because when you cut on the bias, it will fold easier and scrunch nicer. For all other pieces, cut on the gain line. Make sure to cut the notches on the pattern pieces so that when you are sewing the pieces together, the pieces will line up. Here are all the pieces I cut out. Also remember that the F1 piece is cut on the fold. Now let's stitch the bodice. We will stitch a half inch from the seam for all the pieces. I'm going to start at the front of the bodice and stitch each piece together except for where the zipper will go. I'm going to sew the cup first. We need to pin it over and stitch it. Do two pieces for the main fabric and two pieces for the lining. After you finish connecting the cut pieces together, you will need to make several cuts 
into the seam of the cup so that it folds nicely. Afterwards, I want it to make it easier to sew. Right now, I'm gonna top stitch and under stitch one millimeter from the cup seam. These pieces here are going to be the scunch pieces. I'm going to sew three lines along the edge up and do the notch and then I'm going to pull on the thread to gather the cup. You can paste the scunch fabric over the bar piece to estimate how much scunch and compositions you need on the bar piece. And then put the gather pieces on the cup and stitch them together. After you finish stitching the cup together, organize and iron the piece so that they fold nicely. Next, we will cut into the seam allowance of the bodice. Cut into the seam allowance that are facing away from the center of the bodice. This will help the top hug the body better. Complete this step for the main fabric and the lining fabric. After, I on a seam of the bodice. Next, we will attack the boning to the seams. I'm going to stitch the boning under the seams and later, I will fold the seam back and stitch again. Stitch the boning into the side of the seam allowance that we didn't cut into. The length of the polyester boning should be less than the length of the bodice. I recommend leaving 1cm from the top and 2cm from the bottom of the bodice.
here is the complicated boning on the lining. Next, I'm going to stitch the cup to the bodice. Pin around the seam and sew along the edges. I recommend doing this slowly since this part is quite difficult. So, we are making this bustier with the folds on the cups, but this pattern can also be done without the ruffles. Here are what the cups look like with and without the guttering piece. Next, we'll be working on stitching the cup pieces to the bodice for the men's fabric. Right now, on the lining, I'm going to understitch the cup 1mm. Stitch a 1mm margin on each side of the seam. I'm going to side stitch the front and the back seams of the bodice. But I'm not going to side stitch the side seams. For next step, I'm going to add underwire to the bar. I'm going to create a pocket by stitching under the cup a half centimeter. But before that, I will cut the bodice seam under the cup so that the seam will fold over easier.
and afterward I will put the underwire in. Cut the end of the ribbon on the slant so that the straps hug your body better. Connect the lining fabric and main fabric by pinning them together along the top seam of the bodice. Afterwards, stitch them together. After you finish, make sure to iron the seams so that the edges look nicer. So now we will be adding the zipper. I'm going to piece stitch the zipper into the top and then come back to lock the zipper.
Before stitching the zipper to the lining fabric, I'm going to stitch a 1mm trim line at the top of the bodice to lock the seam. This is optional, but adds a nice finish to the top. You can do this step before or after stitching the zipper. To finish attaching the zipper, I'm going to face the right size of the main fabric to the right size of the lining fabric and stitch along the lining seam to lock the zipper to the lining. Okay, we are almost done. Now all we need to do is stitching the bottom of the bodice and we will be done. I'm going to iron the bottom seam in 2 cm. After we are done ironing, pin the seam in and stitch 1.5 cm from the edge of the bottom. Stitch all the way around to fully connect lining and the main fabrics together. I found that this was the easiest way to finish the bottom of the bustier. And that's it. Hope you enjoy making your top. If you'd like to share your work with me, tag me on your IG post. I would love to see your creation. If you enjoy the pattern, please leave me a review on Etsy. Leave will help my shop out so much. Okay, see you guys next time.